Hi everybody. In this video, I will be explaining how to write your first cover letter. To find resources on how to write resumes or cover letters, feel free to go to the CCI at Middlebury's website and look at the toolkit to access resource guides. This is, a, is the build a toolkit feature. Along the left side, you can see that there is information on resumes and cover letters, networking, and interviews. Today, we'll be focusing on the cover letter aspect. What you see is a sample letter that the Middlebury Cover Letter Resource Guide provides. Before going into detail on how to actually write a cover letter, I will first be, ex I will, uh, I will first be explaining what a cover letter is. A cover letter is an opportunity to craft and share your story. A cover letter is specific to the company and the position you are applying to, and it is not meant to repeat your resume, but in fact to show off your skills and experiences that are relevant to this specific position. You also want to demonstrate how you can and will contribute to the needs of the company and employer. Even before you start writing, there are some important steps you can take. First, research the company and organization that you are applying to. That's huge. Second, read the position description closely and look for required qualifications and what suits, uh, suits you and the characteristics the employer is looking for. I recommend actually printing out the job description and looking at it thoroughly while physically highlighting any skills or qualifications that are mentioned throughout. Third, I suggest, I suggest connecting with anyone who has applied to the position or who works at the company or organization that you're applying to. That way they can give you kind of like an inside scoop on what type of, can, of candidate they are looking for and also what, how the work environment is. Um, even just a little bit of information on the company will be useful for your own research and in writing your cover letter. So now we will be referring to the sample cover letter that the CCI provides. At the top of your cover letter, you can include your street address, city, state, and zip code. You can also just provide your resume header, which includes that same contact information. After that, include the contact name and title or position of the contact employer um, in addition to the street address, the city, the state, and the zip code. Oftentimes this information is included in the job description, but sometimes, sometimes you might have to make some, do some research on your own. After that, you're going to want to address the letter. Here in the sample, it says, Dear Mr. or Miss. You want to write to a specific person when possible. That says a lot. Oftentimes, the contact information is even included in the job description, so make sure to use the name when it's provided. You can also say, dear hiring manager or dear hiring team, if it's not. Now, let's talk about the first paragraph of the cover letter. In the first sentence, you want to pique the employer's curiosity. So you can talk about why you're pursuing the position. Or even, even just including a sentence that really, really grabs the reader's attention would do a lot. Also, you wanna make sure to include what you're applying for and who referred you, if applicable. You also want to reveal insight on the employer or the company. Make sure, make sure to not tell them what they do because they already know that but instead weave in the research that you did to show that you did your homework. When you want to finish off the first paragraph, you can include what is called a thesis. But in this case, the thesis would be you emphasizing your qualifications and skills, as well as talking about what you can and will contribute. Now, we're gonna talk about the body paragraph. 
the body paragraph is an important place to articulate specific examples that will show how you will excel in the position. For the body paragraph, I recommend that you use the STAR framework because it will really allow you to concisely show your qualifications as well as skills and accomplishments that match the job description. The STAR framework stands for situation, task, action, results, and relate. For situation, you want to state the situation you were in. For task, you're gonna to wanna to talk about the task that you were asked to complete. Was there a project that you were working on? Were you working with a group of people? Then you're gonna talk about the action. So outline what actions you actually took to complete the task that you were given. And then you're gonna talk about the results. So what happened after you took those actions? Um, just be sure to describe the results in measurable terms. And that can be quantitative or qualitative. Finally, you're gonna to wanna to relate it back to the job itself. So you're gonna to wanna to relate how that example demonstrates the skills relevant for your job. For the last paragraph of your cover letter, you wanna make sure that you thank the employer to con for considering your application and also include any contact information such as your email or phone number. You also should restate your interests and ask for the opportunity to learn more about the position. And then when you wanna sign off, just say sincerely and include your signature and your typed name. Before I wrap up this video, I also just wanted to include some, some cover letter tips. Make sure, make sure to keep your cover letter at one page. Use the same font and the same font size throughout your cover letter. And also make sure to read your cover, le cover letter out loud before sending it off. You can even go to the CCI's quick question hours at go slash QQS to have your cover letter looked at by a peer career advisor like me so they can provide advice. Also, make sure to show why you would make a good fit for the position. Thank you guys so much for listening and good luck with writing your cover letters.